how to get them to say yes. You ever wonder that? Like, how the fuck do I get this person to say yes? How can I make them respond with a an answer that I want? How do I make them do something for me um, when they really don't owe me shit? And that's what this video is about. I'm gonna tell you what uh what motivated me to make this video. And I think that it will actually relate to a lot of people here on, on this channel, whether you're watching this video on Instagram, uh, YouTube, or Facebook. I want you to know that I get messages now because my following is increased enough to where I'm asked for shout outs. So it's both a privilege, it's a gift and a curse, and I'm gonna share with you how to be more effective in getting a yes response or, or making an influencer feel like they want to help you. And I'm gonna speak from experience because I'm getting to that level. Um, and by the way, welcome back. <laughs> I'm Daniel. I'm your friend. I'm your mentor. I'm your coach. I'm your, you know, I'm your fellow hustler, and, and I'm just someone who's just like you, um, hustling, working their fucking face off to get by. And the only difference is that I document my shit. So I document my errors. I document my victories, and uh, and I show you from a different perspective. Maybe this perspective is someone who's older than you, same age as you, or even younger than you. Either way, I'm gonna bring value on this channel, and I appreciate your attention. So if you like the message, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, it's right there, and then make sure you hit that bell right after, so that way you're updated and you get a notice of what video content is up. Not all of it will be for you, but I guarantee you most of it will get you pumped up, motivated, and it's cheaper than Starbucks. So going back to the message at hand, as I drive back home, and I'm sweaty as AF, by the way. I, uh, you know, I, uh, anyway, I, uh, I, I hit up the sauna. You know, before and after my workout, it's the best thing I've ever done. Um, you know, you're more, you're more uh, limber. You're, you're more stretchable. And in my sauna, I always think of the topic or I'll check my DMs, I'll update my posts, and I'll do a lot of stuff while I sit in there, at least until my phone shuts off because it's so hot. And going through this morning, I've had a huge response or request lately in my, in my Instagram DM of uh, people asking for shout outs because everyone's trying to build a brand. I get it. I'm doing it too. And the only difference that I did versus someone else is that I just did the research. So I put in the work to figure out what works, what doesn't, because long time, a long time ago, I, I was fortunate to find out that having a mentor is far greater and more efficient than trying to do something on your own. And I think there are a lot of, a lot of uh, younger millennials, even a lot of older entrepreneurs, or just anyone who's my age who who is trying to go at it alone, as if there's no resources such as free content on YouTube like Sales Remastered, or they've never heard of Gary Vee, or these influencers who are doing it right. Um, but I can tell you that the quick answer is this, is that you find someone who's doing it right, and all you do is mimic them, you study them. And so if I was going into boxing, however you feel about Mayweather, and this is gonna be some politics shit, because it's gonna to apply to you and your brand. Meaning you might find an influencer who's not in line with your brand. So however, so for example, if you were learning boxing and how to fight, um, and you were about to, you, want, you really wanted to be a professional boxer, like that was your whole sport. You wanted to be, you know, you wanna be the next Floyd Mayweather. However you feel about Floyd Mayweather, you might wanna study him, right? So you're gonna, you're gonna watch his moves, you're gonna understand how he carries himself, you're gonna understand how he trains, what he did to get there, you'll watch his past videos and kinda see his lifeline. And so is, does that mean that you gotta do everything like Mayweather? Absolutely not, just understand what you can do that works. And so my mentor, or the mentors that I've had, they've given me advice and they've told me not to go down certain paths. And it doesn't mean that I always listen to him. I was a rebel. I was a rebel when I was growing up, you know. So I always felt like I knew something more, or I knew the, you know, um, something that that my mentor didn't know. And that was really just my immaturity and <clears throat> not being open-minded, you know. Me, me feeling like I can, I can do it on my own. And when I started actually listening to what my mentor had to say even though his experience wasn't necessary in my niche or in my industry, I, I was able to absorb it in a way where I applied it to my industry. And so here, here's my punchline. My long story short is this, is that Sales Remastered offers you a ton of value, a ton of advice. And I know you don't know me from, from anyone besides some dude who's, who's just always talking in the car. But understand this, is I work my fucking face off every day. If anyone knows me, 
um, on here personally. They can vouch. They can even fucking comment in the section. They can comment in the notes. I work my fucking face off. And a lot of the shit that I do, like this or training sessions at my job or, you know, just the mentoring sessions, the people who are not even in my line of work or or anyone across, let's say, the world. You know, I mentored a few people yesterday, um, two in India and two in France. Like, I gave them some helpful advice. And it's easy for me because what I do is I just, I just send them over a link of the video content that I already have on the topic. And this is exactly why I built Sales Remastered is because I'm getting asked the similar or same questions over and over for the past five years. You know, as, as a, or at least within my current niche right now. And so what I did was I just started um, videotaping my training sessions, uh, not physical training, I'm talking about training, like training how to negotiate, how to sell, how to get promoted, how to um, be a sales manager, how to read the room, how to read the mindset, how to create the mindset, how to motivate yourself. So all this content is on there. And it plays a role, but you see the thing is that um, not too many people are willing to put in the time. And so here's how this applies is going through my DM this morning before I got into the car, I got, um, I get all kinds of re requests, you know, some good, some bad. Here's one that shocked the shit out of me. Um, you know, so, so the, some, some influencer, he had like eight followers, hits me up and he, uh, he just says, hi, you know, I didn't respond, um, apparently in time. So he hit hi again. Apparently I didn't respond again. So he hit hi again. And so, and so without even, you know, considering that the person that they're receiving that that you're sending the fucking message to probably is busy for the next hour and you can kindly wait or without without even considering that that person you're bothering or you're about to ask a favor to would not would not appreciate. Hi, good afternoon or hi, good morning. Hi, I like your page. Hi, keep up the great work. Hi, you motivate me like a fucking two second Apparently you're in a rush, right? So you want to do it right. So why would why the fuck would you say hi, 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 until I fucking respond back? So I hit him back with a with a wave. I'm like, hey friend, you know, and that's it. And then he responds back right away. So it shows me like, damn, you're still on Instagram, bro. I'm answering you four fucking hours later. You hit me up within a second. Okay, I get it. And then he and then um, straight from now, keep in mind, hi, hi, hi. I would give him a wave sign. My hi friend. And then he, he replies back and he says, can you give me a shout out? What the fuck? Number one, <laughs> number one, um, I represent a sales page, right? My whole, my whole influence is about how to sell, how to, how to sell yourself to be motivated, how you sell yourself to be sold, how to sell yourself so someone will buy. And, um, and you come at me like that. I'm, you know, so, so then he, asked, so I, I, he asked me for a shout out. And then, um, you know, I replied back, I'm all, I'm all, um, I'm all, check this out, do this and, 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 and I give him some advice. I'm all, you know, I'm all, you know, I looked at your page and I saw that you don't use hashtags. I also saw that you don't, you know, you, you, you don't, you're not consistent. Like ever since you, you've started, you've probably made one meme every other week or every other day. You, if you're trying to build a brand and this is why you're taking the time to hit up people to give you a shout out, you have to understand how that person you're asking the favor for is going to perceive it. And so if you ask someone to help you, but it doesn't look like you're helping yourself, how motivated do you think that that busy person is going to be to help you? More importantly is when you ask someone for any help, and this is just in life, not just fucking shout out, not just you know, um, to help build your brand, any favor, anything in life, fuck it, you don't even need to ask a favor. Just be nice. And and nice can be perceived in different ways across the world, I get that, but do the fucking research. Here's one thing that you should have access to and it's internet. I know you got access to internet because you got the fucking Instagram on. And so if you don't understand the demographic or the fucking influencer's background or the pitch, or how to do the fucking job and and uh, that you're trying to achieve, use the internet to fucking find it out, right? And so, if you wanted to sell, for example, I'd go up on a search bar and put, you know, sales remastered, um, or how to sell, or how can I sell. Um, if you wanted to figure out how to create a following or an audience, Google it and look for the free content that explains it. But if you don't got time to research the shit that that 
you're trying to achieve, if you don't got the time to train your body, your mindset, your thought process, and take the actions that you need to hit the goal that you're aiming for, then you're gonna burn even more time trying to do that shit incorrectly. Get it? And so I think I think that if you if you are looking for any handout in 2017 in, in an era where where you could fucking ask Alexa, Siri, and nine other fucking random AIs what the answer is, and 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 you're still not coming correct in this day and age, maybe this shit ain't for you. Or maybe you're just too young and I hope that my responses and my links and my advice <clears throat> help you, help you fucking grow. And if it did, I, I, I appreciate I appreciate the time that you that you took and the consideration um, that you gave my responses and I hope you watch that full video because I do have a post on here about people not understanding the power of the of the search bar and hashtag right now it doesn't need to be the search bar on your on your social platform it could be Google you know if you take Google and you and you search hashtag sales remastered you'll see all the platforms that I'm on if there's a hashtag that you've coined or you've made um, you know, I can't be like hashtag run. You're gonna get ha you're gonna get all kinds of different shit. But if you got hashtag and it's your fucking it's your own, um, uh, you know, your own brand, your own niche, like fucking Sammy shoes, you know, right? Hashtag Sam shoes. Uh, you know, not too many people are gonna use that hashtag, so now it's distinctive. And when you put it into the Google bar, if you got a lot of content, you got fucking 395 posts that says hashtag Sam shoes when I google hashtag Sam shoes or use the search bar on that app platform I'm gonna find all the fucking posts that says hashtag Sam's shoes thanks Sam but uh, in regards to the video hope it helps and I'm back home I'm about to wash all this fucking sweat off and I hope that this content helps you young bruh so if you're trying to build the influence or you're just trying to make it better in life, the lesson in this video is number one, come correct. Number two, understand that don't nobody owe you shit, playboy. So at least be decent. At least fucking fluff the balls of the influencer that you're trying to get at. At least give a fucking emoji or a fucking heart. It doesn't take much. Not hi. 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 Give me a shout out. The fuck? Put the motherfucking phone down and, and close your account. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one.